Hello everyone, my name is Elias Patras, and welcome. Today is April 15th, 2020. I want to take time out today to guide you on a meditation and also tell you a little bit more about myself. We'll do the meditation first, and then we'll do some info chat. Take some time today, whenever you get to watch this, just to relax, sit in a chair, lay on the ground, whatever works for you. And I will tell you this, because of where we're at right now with our social distancing, if you can't find that perfect place or you can't find that perfect time, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be well done or excellent. It's what I love about the Brits. They always say well done or excellent. And I think for me personally, the getting it done perfectly um, was something that I really needed to let go of. So find a place to be relaxed. If the kids are in the background or the dogs bark, if my door opens and the dogs come in, just be present in the moment and allow yourself this time, this moment to just be in the now. You'll hear the wind chimes outside. This is all about in the now. So let's begin. Take a nice breath in. Hold it for a moment and slowly exhale out. Take another breath in. And slowly exhale out. We'll take another breath in and we'll hold this time. Take a breath in. Hold for a moment and slowly exhale out. Last one, we'll hold again. Take a breath in, hold for a moment and slowly exhale out. You can either close your eyes or keep them open. If you keep them open, find a spot that you can look at and focus on that spot. Imagine, if you will, with your eyes opened or closed, you can sense or feel or see your body starting to relax. Imagine, if you will, your feet releasing tension, releasing stress. Feel this relaxation like a flow, like a wave coming and hitting your body and allowing your legs to relax. If it helps for you to visualize you being on a beach and seeing this wave come in again, see it now come to your hips. And as the wave slowly goes back, the tide goes in and out, you have that feeling of relaxation, letting go of tension and stress, anxiety. Allow this wave, this flow of relaxation to hit your torso, relaxing your stomach and your chest. Allow your breathing to be natural. 
feel this wave now floating over and hitting your arms. Again, let them just relax. Imagine now, if you will, this wave, this feeling of relaxation around your neck. around your jaw, allowing your jaw to drop, your facial muscles, just let them relax. And allow the day to melt away just in this moment. Now imagine in your mind's eye, or as you're looking at the focal point, imagine if you will, you're in a place of nature and there's a beautiful tree. It's a big, beautiful tree, one of your favorites. Imagine if you will, walking slowly toward the tree. It's an energy that's pulling you closer. Imagine that this tree is inviting. You can feel love from a tree. You get closer to this tree in your mind's eye and you can sense and feel and see the beauty, the intensity, the love that's there. Imagine now, if you will, that you are so close to the tree, you can hug it. And this tree magically hugs you back. Imagine sense or feel yourself becoming one with the tree. See yourself becoming that tree. Your legs are the roots going down into Mother Earth, connecting, grounding. Your body becomes the trunk, solid, centered. And your arms become the branches. The wind comes, you can move through that wind. And the branches extend up and up into the heavens, touching that divine source. Touching heaven. So in this moment, you are connected and grounded at the same time. Take a breath in, hold, slowly exhale out. And in your mind's eye, as you step out of the tree, back to you, you can feel that tree energy within the center of your chest, in your heart. You can feel being grounded and centered within your heart. At this time, if you wish to place your hand on the center of your chest, almost as if you are locking in that feeling, that awareness, 
do so. Take another breath in. And if your eyes were closed on the exhalation, open them. And if you were staring at the focal point, come back to the here and now. So that was one of my favorite meditations. I used to teach at a massage school and we would do a grounding and connected exercise. And that's one of my favorite meditations, as I said. And um, I'm smiling because to behind me, if you see, let me see if I could do this correctly. Nope, there we go, right there. If you look at this tree, I've used that imagery in my session. And this was done by a former student, a friend, and a peer, my friend Patricia Cobo. She has um, done lots of artwork. And that is a beautiful, it's three pieces actually. And it's it just, I love looking at it. Even though I'm staring at the camera right now, I can see it and I love looking at it. It just reminds me of that being grounded and connected at the same time. I thank you for watching the meditation, listening to it. And I wanna tell you a little bit more, more about me. So I am an author. I am a empowerment coach. I'm a psychic and a medium. And my philosophy for doing all this work is to connect others to the subtle energies that we have around. I don't know many of you, whether you say God or spirit or divine source, Buddha, Allah, whatever you say, many paths all going to the same home. I feel that, you know, I'm just gonna use God for right now. I feel that God talks to us, but we're not aware. I don't know about you, but before I started this work back in 98, I wanted, and even sometimes, even sometimes during uh, those times of awareness, let's put it that way, I wanted that big neon sign. I wanted to know that I was going this way and that way. I would even say, to the divine, I would even say to God, okay, this is what I want, this is how I want it done, and show me that that is the right way. Not once did I say, until recently, obviously, as I got deeper into this work, I want this to happen if it's for my highest good. Show me a sign so I know that I'm going in the way that I need to go. Help me, direct me. Ever since my parents died, one died in, my mom died in 2000 and my dad died in 2001. Being an only child and having that loss was something that allowed me to connect in a different way with the work that I do. I miss them deeply, but I know that that love never ends. And I know that we are all being guided by our loved ones that have gone. And my purpose is to connect people so they can manifest what they want and understand that we have to break the obstacles, whether they're fear or whatever, fill in the blank, to get to where we need to be for our highest good and to hear those subtle energies. So I de do teach workshops on intuition. I do past life connections. I do the mediumship and the psychic stuff. And what I'm hoping to do, since this is my second video, I'm hoping to do a video once a week and bring either a guided meditation or some sort of understanding. I might do some card readings, I'm not sure yet. But I want to teach, and I know this is a great platform to do so. I thank you for watching. I thank you for sharing. 
and please subscribe. And there's a little bell that will let you know when I have a new video. On my website, eliaspatris.com, I have a catchphrase. And it is to connect, to educate, to grow. I believe that we all are here to connect. I believe that our connection helps one another. Our connection with the divine and within ourselves and to ourselves as well. I believe that when we have that connection, we educate one another. We all learn from one another. On my retreats that I facilitate, I tell the attendees that they are also my teachers. I learn so much from them. And I tell them like I'm going to tell you, even though we might not have met. I believe in you. Because I know that if we all come from divine source and we all have that within us, we are not supposed to fail at what we really are moved to go toward to, whatever that may be for each of you. I believe that we all have that shiny diamond within. On my global meditation in my first video, I have mentioned the heart light. Turn up that heart light. Let that shine. Don't be afraid of what maybe others might think. If you're not doing harm, if you are centered here, don't worry about judgment. The only thing that's stopping us is us, ourselves. So turn up the heart light, come from here. You make a mistake, you make a mistake. As long as it's not doing any harm to anyone, do that uh, wonderful saying, you know, peace to all and harm to no one. Come from that place. Come from a place of connection. So to connect, to educate one another and to grow. When we grow, we grow as a community and there is unity in community. So again, thank you for watching. Please share, please subscribe, and uh, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week. Take care, everyone.